It's 11 o'clock. And now, Buffalo's number one newscast with Bob Coop, Jackie Walker, Van Miller with Big Board Sports, and meteorologist Ted Texter with the weather. This is News 4 Update. He's off and running for a fourth term as mayor of Buffalo. And tonight, Jimmy Griffin counts his friends and counts his campaign cash after a big downtown re-election bash. Good evening, everyone. Here's what's happening tonight. It looks like Mayor Jimmy Griffin's latest re-election bid won't suffer from any lack of money. There was a huge turnout for the mayor's fundraiser tonight, perhaps his biggest yet. It was just a few days ago on Monday when the mayor formally announced that he'd fight to be back for another term in City Hall. Already this week, he's picked up the endorsement of the Conservative Party, and one of his opponents has dropped out of the race. So, in the midst of tonight's big crowd, as Rich Reeve reports, the mayor was riding high. Jimmy Griffin may have been in good spirits arriving at his own fundraiser, but he was in no mood to talk to the media. Mr. Mayor, how come you're still charging to get in? We're charging for everybody. How, you how do you feel about the other candidates, Mr. Mayor? Security people made it all too clear that no one, including the media, would get inside without paying for a $30 ticket. Just back up so we can do our business. Tonight's business of fundraising attracted the mayor's key political allies, the top police brass, even his brother Tommy, who told us he thinks his tax fraud conviction in Florida isn't a political liability. I don't think so. I don't know. I know I went through it, so uh, I'm the I'm the guy that went through it. It's not the mayor's fault. You don't think he's lost supporters uh, because of that? I hope not. This is the largest fundraiser that Jimmy Griffin has had so far. Between 3,000 and 5,000 people were here tonight. At $30 a ticket, that should add greatly to an already large war chest. It's over. He's announced, and we're all happy. There was always that little bit of doubt in everyone's mind. Meanwhile, at the mayor's political turf on the south side, a would-be three-way mayoral debate turned into a political opportunity for former city court judge Wilbur Trammell. People feel that it's time for a change, irrespective of, of what has happened in the recent future past. But it may be an uphill battle against a three-time winner who's riding high now in his political career. Richard Reeve, News 4, Update. Neither Assemblyman Bill Hoyt nor State Senator Anthony Masiello attended tonight's debate. Now, the race has already taken its toll. City Controller Robert Whalen dropped out earlier this week. And there is speculation that Masiello may make an exit, leaving this a three-way race among the mayor, Trammell, and Hoyt, the Democratic-endorsed candidate. Huh? And as the mayor's race heats up tonight, there are charges tonight that Mayor Jimmy Griffin's pol uh, politics handcuff cops who are trying to do their jobs. Mayoral candidate Bill Hoyt brought his campaign to Precinct 16 this afternoon. He was joined by that precinct's captain who says promotions remain unfilled because of politics. It happens in um, uh, job assignments. It happens in discipline within the police department. And it's uh, construed to be uh, uh, a, a problem when... Uh, punishment isn't meted out equally in the police department. Hoyt says he's going to make the police and politics in City Hall a major campaign issue. Well, for the second time, abortion protesters who had been arrested outside of an Elmwood Avenue women's clinic faced trespass charges, but today the outcome of the proceedings was decidedly different. 65 anti-abortion protesters faced the judge and he found them guilty of trespassing and fined them $125 apiece or four days community service. The director of the clinic, which was picketed, says it's about time. You know, the judges in this city were elected by the people just to do their job. And that's no more, no less than what Judge LaRusso did. He found them guilty of a simple trespass that has nothing to do with abortion. As much as they'd like to drag this into the issue, you can't do that. Judge Anthony LaRusso warned the protesters to stay away from the plaza where the clinic is located and advised them don't even shop there. Jack. In other court news tonight, a group of handicapped veterans successfully took aim at Shooter's nightclub. Representatives of the...